Joining me now here on the MMA Report on Radio Influence, may I be stepping back into the Bellator cage. Bellator 167 on Saturday, December the 3rd in Thackerville, Oklahoma, as he'll get a rematch here with Joe Timango. It's Darian Caldwell. Darian, I appreciate the time. You know, over the past couple of months, how often have you gone back and watched those nine seconds of the third round with your first fight with uh, Joe? I watched it the night of the fight, and then put it in the back of my head and, and also I, I noticed uh since that fight was over now training at alliance and i remember the last time we talked you, you said that you know you base your your where you're going to train based on your opponent so wh- why did you decide that alliance was the place to train for uh the rematch against joe well these guys know joe best um they know uh his spot they know where he's good at um but Specifically, it wasn't about Baby Joe. Um, as, uh, more so for about myself. Um, you know, there's no gym out there like Alliance. And uh, in the past four months, you know, it, they show that they they come in and train hard. I, I haven't seen any guys train like college wrestlers, Olympic wrestlers, since being in a college Olympic wrestling room. So, um Whenever you can find a gym like this, you got to take full advantage of it. I think Baby Joe's an idiot. You know, he, he's not very smart forever um, passing up this opportunity to, to train here. Um, but, hey, um, whatever whatever is, you know, best for him, um, then go ahead. But I think this has been a great, great addition to my game, coming out there alliance with is there one thing that you can point to that um, is really been a, a big change for you being at Alliance as opposed to some of the previous training camps you've had? Yes. Um, okay, so to be co- completely honest, um, and as a fighter, I, this is no excuse for my loss, but when you come from a, a background, as I just expressed, you know, a wrestling background and you're training five times a week, six times a week, some of those days being two a days, and then you go um, train for a, 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 a title eliminating fight, you're training three times a week with one coach here, and then you're training with a new coach here, and then you call a coach, you got to call your coach to find a practice, and you got two guys in the training room, and then is just not where a high-level fighter should be. And so um, I feel like that, that's been the main thing is being able to train hard and train consistent. When you think about your first fight uh, against Joe, did he do anything that surprised you? Uh, no, he didn't do anything that surprised me. Uh, I, I surprised myself in, in, in the fact that uh, I tapped. I gave up instead of going out, and so um, I had to I had to go back to the drawing board and figure out who I was and do I really want this? Is that really my personality? Do I give up or do I give in? You know, I rather I rather give in than give up. How long did it take you to realize that this is what you wanted to be? Um, well, it just took a. Uh, Maybe a few hours, honestly. Uh, I beat myself over it. I talked to myself a lot about it. I made a I made a choice that that's not going to happen again. Since Joe missed weight the first time, um, any any concerns of him not making weight once again? Uh, no, uh, I'm, I'm I'm training with bigger guys, uh, tougher guys. And, well, uh, I can care less if he makes weight. Um, I checked my scale this morning. He said Joe's not going to make weight. And so uh, that's how I see it. I, I can care less if he makes weight or not. Um, I'm I'm going to go out there and, and, and handle him and do the, do the pedal. Did you was that was it, did you find that disrespectful when he missed weight? 
extremely. Uh, I think I think he just I, I I don't think he really cares about his, himself. His, I don't think he takes his career serious. And this is my life. This is all I have. Anyone who doesn't take this serious, you know, and, and you're gonna stand in in the cage with me, uh, you're asking for you're asking for a lot. Next weekend's a, a big weekend for the Bellator bantamweight division. Your fight, you also have the, the title fight. L.C. Davis is taking on Marcus Galvo. Are, are, do you feel like you're in a position where a statement win gets you the winner of the title matchup, or are you not even thinking about that? I feel like this fight is going to show I'm the best anime weight in the world. Period. And do you feel that it's – do you all feel that people, because of what happened in our last fight, maybe have forgotten about uh, the fighter you have shown to be prior to that matchup? Uh, well, I think they got every right to um, forget about everything I've done. You know, you're only as good as your last fight. And so, um, thank God December 3rd I got, I got the opportunity to – to go ahead and change it, change it, change it around, change everything. Totally understand that the motivation for this fight is to, uh, you know, get your redemption in this fight. Has there been any, um, any motivational quotes that you have paid attention to throughout this fight camp to get you ready? Uh, well, that's a lot, you know. Uh, it's a lot of motivational quotes. That uh, that get me going, you know. But right now it's tables turn, bridges burn. You live and learn. I learned from that fight, and I'm making an adjustment, which I've I've been doing. And tables are gonna turn. And of course, you'll be able to watch this fight on Spike coming up on Saturday. December the 3rd, next Saturday night, as Darren Caldwell takes on Joe Timingo live from the Windstar World Casino in Thackerville, Oklahoma. Darren, as always, I appreciate time and good luck in the fight, man. Thank you, buddy.